all welcome back to one more session today in the APB series we are going to talk about operating states in APB in today's session so as I told you in the previous session itself in APB that there are three main important things that you need to consider one is signals APB signals and then operating states and then the timing diagram without understanding one concept you can't understand the remaining that means without understanding signals you can't go for operating states and without going without knowing what is how the operating state how the operation is being done in APB you can't go for the timing diagram so that is why first check out those uh, check out the APB introduction video and then the APCB signal and signal description and the master and slave communication and then come to this operating states video I link those two videos in the description box if you want you can check it out there now coming to the operating states of APB before going into the channel if you are new to this channel consider subscribing to this channel and hit on the notification bell also also follow me on all my social media handles right now coming to operating states of APs, APB. So if you see the figure here, basically APB consists of three operating states. One is ideal, setup and access. So there are three operating states, ideal state, setup state and access state. So if you see the figure here, it resembles the state machine, is it or not? So among the various uh, applications of state machines, APB protocol is one of the application. So in this FSM, we will describe how the operating states are being transferred from one state to another state. How the state is moving from one state to another state in this APB, we are going to check that out. So now coming to the states here, the first state is ideal. So from the name itself, you could say that all the default here in this ideal state all the signals like p select p enable p address so all these values are uh, reset uh, so all the signals are set to their default values so basically mostly they will be either zero or the initial values that they are already carrying okay so now from the values that you are seeing here p select x is zero okay so in the previous session where we are discussing about the signal description we have already discussed about this if p select x is zero then that means no slave is being selected is it or not since there is no slave that is being selected obviously no transfers takes place is it or not so that is why p enable is also zero okay so p select of x is 0 means no slave is selected until the slave is selected okay no transfer takes place so that is why until the slave value is 1 no transfer takes place so that is why in ideal state if x is 0 until and unless x is 0 it will be in the no transfer state itself that means it will be in ideal state until and unless x value is sorry p select value is 1 okay now coming to the next two states which are setup and access state so these two are main important states in this particular APB protocol where the actual transfer of data takes place okay so the transferring of data from master to slave will be done only in these two states that is setup and access state okay so while we are talking about the setup and access state during the APB introduction video I have already told you that in APB every transfer of data takes minimum of two clock cycles right so those two clock cycles are setup and access cycle that means during one positive edge of clock cycle okay so basically if you see here this is ideal state that means all the default values should be setted and then in the remaining two clock cycles the in the first clock cycle setups phase takes place and then the access phase takes place okay so these two clock cycles in the next two clock cycles you will be taking the setup and access place that means the transfer of data in APB takes place in two clock cycles not in single clock cycle okay it requires two clock cycles to transfer the data from master to slave hope you got what is the meaning of this uh, two clock cycles okay now coming to the setup phase okay now if you see here now whenever you want to transfer data like from either master to slave if you want to transfer data now what will happen so whenever there is transfer of data now the p select x equal to 1 so if p select x equal to 1 means you have entered into the setup state 
So in setup state what happens T select equal to 1 means the slave is being selected. That means whether you want to, in which slave you want to read or write the data, in which slave the master want to read or write the data, that slave is being selected. Okay, for example, if you are having two, two or three peripheral devices like keyboard, mouse, etc. or pen drive and you want to select the pen drives as an option, as a peripheral device pen drive, then that particular pen drive P select text is equal to 1 means that particular pen drive is being selected. Okay, so P select text equal to 1. That means one slave is being selected. Since the slave is being selected, you can transfer the data. Is it or not? But here if you see the P enable equal to 0. P enable equal to 0. So what is the P enable signal here? What is the work of the P enable? P enable, or what it will do? It will make, it will ask, the master will be sending the request to the slave whether it is ready to transfer, take the transfer, like whether it is ready to uh, write something or whether it is uh, ready to read something. So, whether the read or write operations, is it possible with that particular slave, this will be asked by the master by using this P enable signal. Right, I have already explained this clearly in the uh, signal description, you can go there and check it out. So, here the P enable is 0, that means, okay, slave is selected, but it takes some time to transfer the well, like data, the data transfer is taking place in the next state which is access state. So now what happens in this setup state is basically since P select text is selected that means since slave is selected all the controls with all the control signals within the slave will be activated in the setup state. So what are the control signals if you see in the before uh, class we have discussed about uh, this particular signals. So among this P select is selected that means the uh, if from APB master to slave if P select is selected that means the control signals for that is like basically address okay since the slave is selected so every slave will be having its individual address so that address will be activated similarly P write P write means what as I told you P write means it will tell whether you can read the uh, whether the read operation is going to take place or write operation is uh, going to take place Based on p-write value only, you can either read it or write it. Because you can't do it both at the same time. So, based on p-write value, you can either read it or write it. So, the control signals are p-address. That means address is being selected and then p-write is being done here. Okay. So, these two signals basically along with p-select, these are the signals that are being activated during the setup phase. Okay, so when P select equal to 1, then along with P select equal to 1, P address as well as P write. So all these signals will also be set up in the setup phase. Okay, now P enable is 0. Now coming to the next phase which is access state. That means this is the state where actual transfer of data takes place. So here the P select is 1 which is already there in setup. Now, the second thing is P enable equal to 1. That means the slave is telling that, okay, I am ready to write and read operations. So, when P enable equal to 1, then based on P ready value, the slave will be accepting it. So, what is this P ready value? So, basically, after access state, you need to transfer the data. Okay, in order to transfer the data, the uh, particular slave should be ready to accept the data. Okay, whether you want to read the data from the slave or whether you want to write the data into the slave, the P ready should be uh, the case where you will be checking out. So basically, P ready equal to zero. That means even though the P uh, select text and P enable equal to one also, if P ready equal to zero, then the uh, particular uh, actually it will be in a waiting period okay why waiting period because slave is not ready to accept anything that's why the master will be the bus will be in the waiting period okay it will wait until the p ready equal to one okay so when the p ready equal to one then the transfer takes place that means when p select equal to one and p enable equal to one and if P 
ready is zero then it will be in a waiting period it will be in the wait state only okay that means it is will be it will be in the access state itself it won't move to any other state it will just remain in that particular access state itself now if p select equal to 1 and p enable equal to 1 and p ready equal to 1 then that means the transfer is taking place so what is this transfer basically the master is writing something into the slave or it is reading something from the slave so p read and p write options will be taking place during this transfer okay this happens only when p read equal to 1 got my point so if p read equal to 1 then the actual transfer takes place so after this like if you see here, P ready equal to 1, the transfer is taking place. Fine. So, if there are any other transfers along with this, the uh, remaining transfers. That means, uh, okay. So, um, here one thing you have to remember is that if P ready is equal to 1 and if there is next transfer, then it will be going to the setup phase. Okay, that means as I told you, we will be receiving the packets of data through the bus. Okay, for example, if uh, I am sending like these uh, two data. Okay, so these are the two transfers I want to transfer from my master to slave. So, after this transfer, if there is the next transfer that is waiting, then that means if the transfer is being continued, that means after one transfer, if there is another transfer in the line, then the P ready will be going to the again it will be going to the setup phase again it will be uh, asking for P select equal to 1 P again in this way the it will be continuing okay now after these two packets are being done there are no more packets of data that means there is no more transfers that means okay P ready equal to 1 that means slave is ready to accept something but there is no uh, transfer left that means no transfers are left uh, every data continuously the data is being sent so at such case what happens if p read equal to 1 and there is no transfer then there it will go to the ideal state the bus goes to the ideal state okay you have to remember this okay so when there is p read equal to 1 and the transfer there are still transfers left then it will be going to the setup state when P ready equal to 1 and there are no more transfers to be transferring from bus to master to slave, then it will be going to the ideal state. So, based on P ready signal only, the entire thing will be transferring from one master to slave. Okay. So, again, among this, you have to remember one thing. Like as I told you here, if P ready equal to 0, okay, it will be the access state will be in the bus will be in the waiting period. So, you must remember one thing here. During this waiting period, the remaining signals like because this, as I already told you, during the setup signal, during the setup phase, various signals like P address, P write, okay, P select, this all will be set up during the setup phase itself. So, all these signals should remain same during the access period also during the access wait period also they should remain same that means there shouldn't be any change in this particular signal values okay so what if there is a change that means you have written uh, during setup uh, you have written the period equal to 1 and during its wait period if you have changed the period signal from 1 to 0 then what happens then there may be some loss of data, okay, so because of which the slave error may be arising, okay, got my point, so you have to remember one thing, during the wait period in the access state, the setup state value should be remaining unchanged, that means during the access wait period also, those values should be the same, just like uh, they are in setup phase, okay, these are the two things that you have to remember. So, uh, as I told you, so this is about the operating states of uh, APB protocol. Hope you understand what is, how this thing is going to happen here. So, in the next class, we are going to see various timing diagrams like with wait states because here you are having two states where with wait states, without wait states. That means if it is in waiting period, then it will be in the access state itself. Okay, if, if there is no waiting period, then it will be going to the next setup phase and ideal state. So, based on this, we will be checking out the timing diagrams for both P uh, read data as well as P write data. Right? So, this is all for today.
hope uh, this video is helpful for you if you like it please give me a like and also share this to video to all your VLSA aspirants who also want to learn about the EPB protocol thank you all